name is uh, Chukwemeka Anthony Atansi, and I'm a priest of the Catholic Diocese of Oka. Really speaking, two things. I feel very grateful, and I feel so honored. Grateful that I have this opportunity to share with our brother priest the life and ministry of Archbishop Obiefuna. And I feel also honored because it's not just a sharing amongst you know, priests, very prestigious and worthy brothers, but also honored to talk about a man that we all feel so privileged to have as our first bishop. So I feel honored that I could talk about Obiefuna. He's such an icon. Yeah. <laughs> Was it the bishop, the first bishop of the Cali Diocese of Oka? And uh, we worked with him briefly after my ordination. He himself ordained me uh, a priest in the year 1992 uh, in my hometown, 29th August 1992, and uh, gave me my first pastoral assignment and subsequent one. And so I know him one on one. He was such a diligent, hardworking, spiritual pastor. He's the one who instituted the Eucharistic adoration practically in all the 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 the, diocese, the, diocese, the parishes in the diocese. I know him too well. Telling you, as far as I'm concerned, this is the that's, this is the recollection I've made in recent times. This is the recollection I've made in recent times. It is foundational. It is contextual. It is theological. It is academic. It is spiritual. It is con contemplative, and very well presented. And again. Resting on the person of our very first bishop, A.K. Ubiufna. Uh, two things again. <laughs> I feel fulfilled because all these years, uh, the life of Ubiufna has kept me going, inspiring me and strengthening me in my own vocation. So I feel fulfilled that I have this opportunity to talk about his life and his ministry, having read his works and listened to some of his messages. That's one. And then secondly, I feel challenged. Challenged to continue my work on exploring his Christology and his contemplative spirituality, which is a unique contribution to the church and to our world, both here in Nigeria and beyond. So I feel really challenged now and the work has to continue in researching on the life of Obiefun and his ministry. I discussed with him already after that. I appreciated his work. He worked so hard and um, he spoke from the heart as, as one who had, you know, whose Obiefun spirituality also has entered his own entire person as a Catholic priest. Yeah, so I'm so happy and but we didn't expect anything less from him. He's such a diligent priest and hardworking priest, enduring himself into the hearts of many. Very beautiful. In fact, uh, at the end of it, I just uh, went to him, I hugged him, and hugged him, and hugged him a third time. And in fact, I even I, when I finished hugging him the third time, I had to hug him again, you know. Uh, first and foremost, the Bethlehem has a deep sense of friendship with Christ. And I think that's, that's something we need to offer a world that often thinks that when you ask them to become Christians or when you invite them into the Christian fold, you are inviting them into an institution of power and control. That's not what we do when we share the gospel. We are sharing the gospel of friendship with Christ. So to be a Christian is to be in relationship with Christ. And nothing could be so exciting and fascinating about it. So that's something I really appreciate about how it definitely helps us to rethink what it means to be a Christian. It is that you are a friend of Christ, loved by Christ. And the song that you heard us sing now was a favorable song for him. Fathers of our ancient faith. of our ancient faith and we continue to hammer on that. This is a bishop that never for once failed producing his own uh, Lenten pastora and would at a point in time I told him, excuse me my lord, never you go to any place without tape because any time you listen to him, he will have ordination here today, ordination tomorrow, ordination the other day he will never repeat himself.
remembering our Father in faith. From the contemplative Eucharistic spirituality of Archbishop Albert Obiefuna. Before Ngabaniru, Neto Galiuche, now the contemplative spirituality of Biefuna. Ngachofi Kenemadu 